Hi friends! Thanks for joining me today to learn how to make a knit eye cord. All you're going to need for this is your yarn, your needles, a darning needle, and a pair of scissors. Now I'm using DPNs. You can also use circular needles. It's possible to use straight needles, although I don't recommend them. They'll do in a pinch, but that's really it. So to start this, I only need one needle and I'm going to make a long tail cast on. I will be making a four stitch eye cord. Uh, you will often see it as three stitches also. It's exactly the same. You would just have fewer stitches. So here we go. Let's do a long tail cast on. I need my tail toward me, over my thumb, working yarn over my finger, wrap my fingers around. This is how I start it. You could start with a slip knot. This is how I start it. Bring this around, twist it, I've got my first stitch. Come up and through, around, pull it through, tighten it up. Up through, around, pull it through, tighten, up through, around, pull it through, and tighten. If you would like to see this done more slowly, I have another tutorial on how to do just the long tail cast on. I'm done with my cast on. I have my four stitches. I don't need this tail anymore. I will be using the working yarn now, but I have to get set up. At no point will I turn my needle around. I will always be looking at the right side of my stitches. So I'm gonna slide these across. And now it's on my left needle. I'm ready to work pick up my other needle. This is now my right needle. And I'm going to knit into the first stitch. Here we go. Knit into the second. Knit into the third. And fourth. That's it. Pull that just a bit. Now, Hold on to these stitches, slide it across. Let me show you again. Knit into the first stitch. Now when I do this, I will tighten that up just a little bit after I slide that first stitch off. Uh, I find it helps with my tension on the back side of the eye cord. Uh, you may not need to do that, but that's something I do. Knitting across all four stitches here. There it is. Pull these just a bit. Don't turn the needle, just slide across. Now, if you're using a circular needle, it's exactly the same. You would just have a longer distance to go here. This would be a cable. Let me show you how to do this, and then I'll show you what you do if you have straight needles. Here we go, knit. Tighten just a little bit. Knit the next three. There we go. Okay, now, if you're using straight needles, that's all you have, and you gotta get this eye cord done. How do we do it? You can't slide it over because there would be something in the way here. You just have to slide it back from your right needle onto your left needle. Now, this takes more time, and you are more likely to drop a stitch but you can do it. And then you would just keep knitting. Now I'm gonna go ahead and keep knitting a little bit farther so I can show you how I like to bind this off and weave in the ends. So hang on just a moment and I'll be right back. All right, so I have knit a bit extra here and let me show you how to bind this off. It's super simple. I pull, slide my stitches back over to, so this is my left needle. And now I need to cut the yarn. Uh, I'll leave about a six to eight inch tail, give myself plenty of room. Now I'm done with the working yarn and I'm done with my scissors for now. I'll take my darning needle, place the tail on the needle, pin the tail on the needle, and then I'm going to slide my needle through purlwise from right to left. Just slide all of them on, set my needle down, I'm done with it. Slide that through and pull it tight. That's it. My needle or my uh, stitches are bound off. Now 
I'm going to go in here and come you can kind of see it's under these uh, it's going in through the center I'm gonna come out now what I could do if I wanted to is just go all the way down through however many inches I want to and cut off my tail there I like to uh, kind of uh, anchor this in just a little bit so I came up next to this I came up on the left side of that ladder I'm just gonna come back around it pull it a little bit pull my I cord so it hides it you can't even see it now now I might go in and come over here and do it again come up on the left side go back through the right side of that ladder I'm gonna tell you a secret don't tell anybody this because we aren't supposed to talk about knots in knitting but if you sometimes put a knot in your knitting to secure a tail this is a place where you could do a little knot and then pull it through you'll just have to be extra careful when you are um, kind of uh, getting these stitches back to where you want them that it is hidden but for now I'm just gonna go around no knots pull gently pull these back no big deal then I'm going to cut it off right there being careful not to cut any of my stitches now there's a teeny little bit there that will be hidden when I go like that it's all gone and look at my I cord how pretty is this it looks like I spent a lot of extra time literally knitting in the round and all I did was knit on the right side the whole time and slide my stitches back over now for this tail you'll do it exactly the same as I did for this one the only hint I will give you is don't go back through where this tail comes out go in somewhere else across next to uh, wherever you want to just not right through you don't want to risk having your stitches come out and that is all there is to an I cord thank you so much for joining me I hope you have so much fun knitting an I cord I'll see you next time bye